Good morning! How are you today everyone? I hope you're doing well. So it's weekend and today is Thursday. Okay, so you can enjoy your time and also let me say you have enough time to prepare yourself for Eid because few days and we are gonna celebrate Eid al-Fitr. So I wish you, you and your family, a very happy Eid, everyone. So let's start the lesson of today. My little explorers, today we're going to talk about earthquakes. Excellent. So before explaining the lesson, let's read the day and date. Or let's say the day and date. So what is the day? The day is Thursday. And the date is? May 21, 2020. Thank you for helping. So I need someone to read the title of the lesson. Here's the title of the lesson. Take your time. Look at the title and also look at the picture. I don't like the picture. What do you think about it? I think, yeah, just look at the picture, see the buildings, what happened to the buildings? They fell down. Fell down, and what is the reason? Why do you think these buildings fell down? Because of earthquakes. Excellent, so let's read the title. Landscapes can change quickly earthquakes so my little explorers let's learn today about earthquakes so let's read the objectives of the lesson together so by the end of the lesson i can make observations and construct explanations about changes to earth's landscape i can identify new vocabulary like earthquake thank you for reading and now here we go okay there's a video here about earthquakes so watch the video and when you come back we're gonna talk more about earthquakes okay so everyone i want you to get your science book because we're gonna use it and open page 36 okay so landscapes can change quickly so in the previous lessons we have learned about landscapes right and we talked about mountains and hills and valleys and you know so on and today we're going to learn some changes can happen to these landscapes okay some of them are quick and some of them are slow excellent and today we are talking about the quick changes. Remember, in the previous lessons, we have learned about two slow changes. Two slow changes. Who can help me to remember what are they? Weathering and erosion. Weathering is when the water and wind break the rocks into smaller pieces. Excellent. And erosion? And erosion is when water or when takes pieces of rocks and sand from one place to another yeah we can say take or carry okay. them from place to place excellent and today we're learning about the quick changes yesterday we said one of these quick changes is earthquakes excellent so let's read what's sitting over here and i want you everyone to pay attention for the important information okay so let's start reading okay go ahead landscapes can change quickly you have seen that an earthquake can cause quick changes to earth yeah surface well done so everyone we can say that an earthquake can cause quick Change. changes to the surface of the earth okay let's read more 
Learn more about earthquakes and other quick changes to landscapes. And now let's continue reading. Earthquakes. Rocks that make up Earth's surface are pushed and pulled in different directions. Sometimes this movement causes the Earth to shake. An earthquake is a shake in Earth's crust or outer layer. Okay, so everyone, I want you to pay attention. So listen carefully. So the surface of Earth is made of rocks and sometimes these rocks are pushed and pulled. Okay, so when these rocks are pushed or pulled, what will happen? The earth crust or outer layer will, will shake, shake and that causes an earthquake. So everyone, when these rocks are pushed or pulled, what will happen? A shake in the surface of the earth. earth and we can say outer layer okay so I want you to highlight this everyone let's read it earthquake is a shake in earth's crust or outer layer okay and later on I'm gonna show you what uh, does or I'm gonna talk about the layer or the crust of the earth okay so everyone earthquake is very dangerous and when an earthquake happens some buildings will fall down and that because the earth will be shaking or not the earth let me say the surface of the earth will be shaking so in this case you need to be careful and what you are going to do is written over here just look at these pictures so let's read what to do during an earthquake don't panic drop take cover hold on don't take elevators protect your head stay away from windows and anything that can fall turn off gas and electricity well then so you need to follow these steps when an earthquake happens so everyone and there are many natural disasters that cause quick changes in the landscapes of the earth so as you can see over here um, this is an earthquake tsunami flood volcano storm so everyone these are quick changes and they are so dangerous okay let's say them one more time let's say them one more time earthquake tsunami flood volcano storm miss Mona yes can I say what are those fast changes yes earthquake is when the earth crust moves and causes an earthquake a tsunami is a big wave that covers a country a flood is when rain falls down like so much rain and it makes a flood like a pool a volcano is when a rock brings out lava and or the a fire mountain. the fires will lava we call this lava okay so when the lava comes out of the volcano mountain it, yeah it will burn a forest or a country or a city let's say a storm is like thunderstorms lightning like that so thank you for helping okay so earthquake is when the earth surface start to shake, shake and you know what else shake and move because the rocks will be Pull. pushed or Pull. pulled Excellent. and also it also happens because when the earth's crust collides together excellent and the tsunami when an earthquake happens in the ocean and then the waves will move to the land and this also is very dangerous the flood when the rain or when the heavy rain let's say covers the 
uh, the land and the people will find some difficulties to walk or you know drive their cars because the land will be full of water and the volcano when the lava uh, comes out from the mountain and it's very dangerous because it's uh, it's fire let's say and the storm let's say when uh, the rain or the heavy rain starts with the thunder and lightning. lightning excellent okay so I was talking you know before about the earth's crust what do we call these layers we call them layers, layers. see how many layers do you see three layers okay this is the layers of the crust of the earth okay so everyone if I am going to draw over here um, I'm gonna draw the earth okay let's say the earth is okay made of many layers okay many this is the earth okay and it's made of many layers as you can see over here okay and now let's read what's written over here to understand what does the picture mean earthquakes can also be known as quakes shakers or shakers okay and the location below the earth's surface where an earthquake starts is called a hypocenter so where's the hypocenter is over here this is the place where an earthquake starts okay excellent let's continue reading an earth sorry the point on the earth's surface that is directly above the earthquake is called an epicenter and if you look here you can see the epicenter it's over here okay so hypocenter and epicenter excellent the hypocenter yeah the hypocenter is the hypocenter is where the earthquake starts okay so the earthquake start starts sorry from this place which is called hypocenter. hypocenter an epicenter is directly above the hypocenter excellent it's directly above the hypocenter, hypocenter as you can see and here we go i want you to explain what you see in the picture i can see an earthquake an earthquake caused a quick change to the land so when the earthquake happens in the minute you can see these cracks, cracks on, on the that. ground excellent okay and finally classify the following into correct and incorrect safety tips that you should follow to be safe from an earthquake so i should hide under the table correct correct so i shouldn't use the lift correct correct I shouldn't cover my head. Wrong. Wrong. I need to cover my, my head. Head. Excellent. This is wrong. I should take all my belongings first. Not correct. Excellent. I need to run directly or go out from the building. Building. Excellent. Or find a safe place. Thank you. So our closure for today is about a sentence and we need to complete it okay so if you were standing still and you felt the ground shake there is a very good chance that there was an earthquake thank you so everyone remember the earthquake is very dangerous it's a disaster so people need to be careful they need to uh, follow the safety tips they need to cover their uh, heads also to leave the building as fast as they can and a lot of another things that we have talked about in the lesson so have a great day and see you after Eid al-Fitr Eid Mubarak